We use links to model the relationship among objects. For example, for this city object Houston and this airport object HOU, they have a relationship that this HOU airport serves city Houston. Similarly, for this city object Houston and this airport object IH, they have a relationship that IH airport serves city Houston. We draw a line between two objects to represent a link. And we gave a name for each link, like this serves. And we draw a line be below each link name. We use association to model the relationship among classes. For example, airport serves, serves cities. We draw a line between two classes to represent an association. Note that there's no line below the association name. At the end of each line, we can indicate the multiplicity. For example, here one dot dot star means one or more. Star means any number. And this multiplicity means that for any airport, there are one or more cities that it serves. And here star means zero or more. It basically means any number. And this multiplicity means that a city is served by zero or more airports. In general, we use x dot dot y to represent multiplicity. This means all the numbers from x to y. And here x can be zero or one or a specific number. And the y can be one star or a specific number. And note that here we cannot write zero dot dot zero, which means that uh, for any instance of B, and there are no instance of A has any relationship with it, then that's meaningless. And this x dot dot y can also be a specific list of acceptable numbers, say for example a list of three numbers, two, four, and six. And here zero dot dot one also means optional, and uh, one dot dot star also means at least one, and zero dot dot star or star means any number. And on each end of an association, you can also specify the name of the role that this end plays in the association. But that's optional. So we need to distinguish two concepts, links and associations. In short, just like an object is an instance of a class, a link is an instance of an association. So links means the physical or conceptual connection between objects. For example, human object John and the company object Amazon may have a link indicating that John works for Amazon. And there may be multiple links between two objects. For example, John and Amazon may also have another link indicating that John is also a customer of Amazon. And links indicate the static relationship among the objects in a system at a time instance. In other words, so links represent the snapshot shot of the relationships among uh, the objects in a system. For example, here we have three human objects, person objects. At uh, time instant T1, this Jill and Joe has a relationship of dating, has a link of dating. And at uh, time T2, this show, and Sally has a relationship of uh, uh, dating, has a link called dating. And association describes a group of links with common structures and semantics. For example, human class and company class may have association for the work for relationship. And also there may be multiple associations between two classes. And there are two ways of implementing an association. So the first method is to use pointers. For example, in this city class, we have a point, a vector of airport pointers. 
that holds all the cities, uh, that holds all the airports that this city uh, is served by. And in this airport class, it has a vector of uh, city pointers. It, it stores all the cities that this airport serves. The second method is to use multi-map. In that case, in a city, we don't need to store the list of uh, the airport pointers. And in this airport, we don't need to store the list of the city pointers. Instead, we use multi-map to store the pairs of the city and airport. And this is an example code that uh, uses such a multi-map. We need to avoid modeling associations and as classes, for example. So how to model children and parents? Should we design them as two classes? One is called a child class and one is called a parent class. This is obviously bad because a person is both the child of his or her parent and the father or mother of his or her children. So children parent should be modeled as an association, not as classes. So other than association, there are other types of relationships among classes. Here we study generalization and aggregation. So generalization describes its own relationship among classes. For example, and a manager is an employee. And here this employee is a generalization of this manager. To represent its, its own relationship, we put this uh, clear triangle at the end of this generalized class. And note that between two classes, they may have multiple relationships. For example, between this employee class and this manager class, the employee class is the I mean, generalization of the man manager class. And uh, at the same time, they also have an association of grouping. A manager has zero or more employees in, his, in the group that he manages. And the employee has zero or more managers. And the definition of is a relationship means that, so B is a, an A means that if and only if a, a instances of B can be used in the context that we expect instances of A. So this is a relationship. So this generalization in C++ has to be implemented using public inheritance. And if you use pre protected or private inheritance, then their relationship is not is a relationship. For example, in this example, this class B privately inherit from class A, then B is not an A. And we cannot use the base class pointer point to an object of B class. And we have learned that for protected or private inheritance, we can also use a data member of the base class to achieve similar functionality. And the only difference is that by protected inheritance or private, private inheritance, so B can use the protected data member or functions defined in A. But if we define an object of A in class B, then B cannot access the protected data or functions defined in A. Because when we use an instance of a class A object in class B, so this class B is the client of class A, it's not the inher inheritance of class A.
So aggregation represents its part of relationship. To represent aggregation, we put a clear white diamond on the aggregation end. For example, in this case, an engine is part of a car. And here we can also indicate the multiplicity. It means these two multiplicity means that a car can only have uh, have one engine and uh, an engine can only be part of one car. 